So this is the box that I'm working on, and uh, just do a quick walk around. I have not properly attached the hinges yet. They're held on by a couple of little dots of super glue currently, which means that if I strike them with something, they'll literally just fall off. But the hinges are completed. They need a buffing. They've got some wax on them that needs to be buffed off. Um, simple, nothing too special. The uh, hinges are offset down so that whenever you open the box, it does not want to slam shut, but nor does it want to slam open. The handles are made for this uh, rig. This is um, beech and uh, some Corian, and they are glued together, they're epoxy together. And then uh, they're put in with socket head cap screws. Um, I like these screws. They're wonderful. But they require a relatively high degree of precision to use. Because as you can see, there's very little space around them. In fact, there's no space around them. Because, well, I want them to look good. They are set just barely under the surface. And they look good. It was a challenge to come up with handles that were visually interesting, but not over, you know, uh, not too extravagant, you know? Originally, I was just going to use some more of this stuff. But uh, the relative low cost of this project <laughs> has me hesitant to use too much. Um, and it's very, it looks really good. And I want the hinges to be a part of the, you know, part of the build. They're interesting. Um, they have little fingers that reach over top, little knuckles. And uh, so they look interesting. They're really uh, a key part of each box that I like to make. I like to make the hinges out of wood. Um, there's going to be a tiny sliver of mahogany inset across the top just to give it a little bit of a transition down in there. And it's just going to be glued to the beach, not to the the panel, because we want the panel to be able to move a little bit. Uh, I'm so concerned about the panel. I hope it stays in good shape. Um, it's the first time I've ever worked with any veneers like this, uh, which of course I made. Uh, this is a burl from an old cherry tree that was cut down by a friend of mine for firewood. Well. I think it was also on its way out anyway. But uh, I wanted to do this. This is something I've been wanting to try for a long period of time. And, uh, you know, the uh, person buying the box was a little, little bit vague. They just said they wanted a simple box. And this is a simple box. It's just a beach box with a plywood top and bottom. Nothing to it. It's very simple. Um, but I... I want, whenever I build something, I want it to grab people's attention. I want somebody to say, whoa, where'd you get that? And um, so that's what I was going for, is whoa factor. Um, the handles had to be strong and sturdy because, of course, this box is going to be used and easy to grab. And Corian has the benefit of being relatively easy to work. It feels good on your hands. And it's it looks like stone, you know? So... Uh, yeah, I thought I'd use it. Again, a high degree of precision is needed to use these screws. And uh, I also want the box to be flush inside. So there are threaded inserts that hold them in place. So I will not lie. That was a stressful install because the box is basically complete except for a latch or a catch of some sort to keep it shut. Um, though really, realistically, that's not necessary. Will the handles be removable? Absolutely not. The beach will be glued to the beach, but um, the screws add visual interest from the outside and uh, they also help lock the Corian in place while it's being glued and also clamp the handles on. As you can see, they're flush with the top Okay, nice and clean, just because I wanted it to 
just be there and be comfortable. So uh, that's it. Hope you guys like it. <laughs>